This isn't the sound of a bad muffler. It's the sound of yet another catalytic converter theft. In the video, you can see the suspect pull up to the Irving Don Herring Mitsubishi. I can tell it's a brand new Ford Dually pickup truck. It's an expensive, nice truck. At least 20 catalytic converter thefts were stolen in 20 minutes. This also happened at their Plano and Dallas locations. About a minute per cat. The suspect strategically pulls up where it's dark. Comes in and just goes from car to car to car, cuts them all yeah. off. Yeah, just, just one all the way down to where that tree is. Now, many local dealerships are putting deterrence in. It bolts on before and after the catalytic converter, and it's got uh, these rods that go through that are also not, you're not able to cut through them with the saw. It cost about $2,000 to fix each car, but getting the parts has been challenging. Now they can't even sell the SUVs. The chip shortage, which is affecting all manufacturers. Herring says there are only a couple of suppliers around the world that sell the chips. The largest one in Japan burned down earlier this year. The second largest one in Taiwan it requires a lot of water apparently to make these chips and they're having a drought in Taiwan. With the pandemic, business has already been hurting. I just hope the suspect can find a new way to make a living. You'd think if there's got to be easier ways than sawing catalytic converters off cars. In the video, you don't see it, but a neighbor heard the sound of a saw and confronted the suspect, told him to stop, then called police. Despite that, according to Herring, the suspect kept going from car to car. Police are asking the public if you hear something, the sound of a saw, call police. We're in Irving. I'm Molly Basu.